Hi Pisces, welcome to your special Halloween edition of He Said, She Said. Thanks for joining us. My name is Michelle. My name's Richard. Let's get started. Pisces, the skull of light. It feels like a hermit energy. And what I mean by that is it's, it's illuminating, it's illuminating thyself. It's knowing thyself by going through the darkness. So it feels like something in which you're needing to gain some kind of illumination. It feels like an epiphany. It feels like something that's becoming known, but it's after a, a period of, of being in the dark. It could, it could be literal, of course, finding out something. It could be that simple, but we'll see where this goes, Pisces. The uh, card from the Mausolea Oracle that Richard has drawn is... Aron, the master of the great hunt. And I'll just read the last part of the description here. Aron directs one to follow one's nature rather than in attempting to orchestrate others in pursuit of the most, uh, most important quarry of all, which is going to be the hunt for oneself. Okay, so Pisces, let's take a look. This could be you, could be someone around you that is on the hunt, or it could potentially be uh, a Pisces that you're dealing with. At the bottom of the deck, I do have the card of Equilibrium or Temperance. And I have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So let's see, Pisces, where this goes. We'll start with the status of this relationship, how you are viewing the person, the strengths, challenges, advice, what to do, what not to do, what's hidden or unexpected, and the potential outcome. Okay, status of the relationship. How this person views you, Pisces. Strengths, weaknesses. What this person should keep doing, what they should stop doing. What's hidden. And the outcome if nothing changes. Seven of Swords. There's someone around you being deceptive. And I feel that this is very, very secretive. You're not really sure what, what this person is up to. And I feel that they're not being truthful to you. They may not even be being truthful to themselves, but I do feel that there's a pathway to seeing the truth about this person. Okay. We have the King of Swords in reverse over here. Yeah, I'm getting that that as being the same person, the same person who is being untruthful. Yeah. Perhaps they're even being a bit ruthless as well, certainly cold and certainly very detached about mm. what they're doing. Yeah, and what were those key words again with the hunt there? Authority, the hunt, and natural balance. It feels like someone who's using authority or, you know, kind of like a, a position of authority or power, but twisted mm -hmm. in order to get what they want. Mm -hmm. How are you viewing this person? Well, it's love. It, it's new love. The potential for new love. So this person could be coming in offering their cup of, of love here, or you're offering it to them, Pisces. Okay, looking over here, we have the Page of Pentacles here, yeah, that sense of newness again. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, a, it's like planting a seed, isn't it, with this Page of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. and, but, you know, one never knows if this seed will grow mm -hmm. or if it will not grow. But at the present time, there is at least hope, hope for growth. And this person seems to be looking at you, Pisces, as someone who's young and impressionable. Perhaps that has a lot to learn. Mm. You know, the card of the Page of Pentacles is a card of a student. Someone who has a lot of learning still to do, and they still have that kind of bright, shiny kind of uh, energy where they haven't been, let's say they're not a queen of swords, who has been through life and kind of knows what's up, right? And there's some innocence. Innocence. Associated with this innocence. innocence. A little bit of naivety, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Naivety. Naivety. Especially with that Seven of Swords over there, it makes me wonder if uh, perhaps somebody can put one over mm. on the person who's being this Page of Pentacles. I'm not sure who that is yet. We'll see yeah. as we go. Let's see what the strength is. We've got the star, but it's in the reverse as the strength. Okay. Well, I'm getting this as an energy of kind of, it, when you think of illumination, I'm seeing the star as illumination, seeing the way. But this speaks to me of someone who doesn't see, who doesn't see. So it's kind of like looking at someone as a star, 
but not seeing the flip side. Okay. Do you so know just, what I mean? Just seeing the good side. Seeing of Seeing the good side. It's like the the light and the dark side. It's like almost, I'm seeing this here. It's almost like putting someone on a pedestal. Yeah, putting someone on a pedestal, seeing that good side, mm. but the dark side is being blocked, hidden, hidden or blocked. Mm -hmm. But there will be some kind of illumination here. Okay. Strength, King of Cups in the reverse as a strength. Hmm. So that's a it's emotional instability, but there is a strength. This King of Swords, King of Cups, both in the reverse. A lot of, a lot of manipulation. A lot of manipulation. With that hunt down there. You yeah. know, this is like someone who's... Uh, is a look, there's a goal here. There is a goal. But how they're getting to the goal. Yes, it, but it seems like they're, they're misusing power mm -hmm. and they're using emotional manipulation yeah. is what I get mm -hmm. in order to, to obtain what they want. You're seeing this as purity. This is pure mm. love. Right, as, as a page. I think, I think you, um, Pisces, are seeing this as a page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yet the other person is, is like polluting the waters, if you will. Yes. This feels like purity, but they're, they're coming from a King of Cups in reverse, which is, a, I've, I'm feeling that as like a polluted... Mm, a polluted energy. Polluted, polluted energy. Polluted watery energy. Mm. 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 Challenge. We've got the Death card. Well, this is a feeling here of uh, overcoming it with this skull of light and illumination. This feels like very dark energy. And the challenge here is an ending. Yeah, uh, Pisces, unfortunately, I, I feel like there's some kind of darker energy around this. You're seeing it as this, this kind of pure intentions pure love but there, there's the seven of swords attached to it with the death card and we've got this king in reverse energy over it here it feels like fast action like somebody coming in taking what they want mm. and then leaving, leaving. again mm. yeah it's, it's not and then leaving you to deal with the yeah. aftermath of an ending yeah like it's almost like you got whiplash like a, one minute they were here and they were offering you this this cup and next minute they were gone and you thought well what was all that about hmm Okay, well, let's look over here at the challenge. We've got the Two of Cups in the reverse, sorry, Two of Pentacles in the reverse as a challenge. <coughs> yeah, that's, that's that. I get that as being overwhelmed because one's machinations have gone too far. It's kind of like biting off more than you can chew, chew that kind having of too many irons in mm. the fire, or too, thi too many things on the go at once. Right, because you know, this person could be seeing other people, mm -hmm. and you, you do get the feeling that, you know, one thing that we know is lying to oneself causes stress. Yeah. Lying causes stress. I mean, it's, that's the whole... And lying to other people and remembering to keep the story straight, right? Exactly. I mean, there's a lot that mm, when you have mm. when you have to tell different stories, stories to, to other people, to different people, you got to remember who you're telling the stories to, and it, it's made, it, it's it's hard. Yeah, I mean, we'll think about what a lie detector is mm. and what lie detectors do. Well, they measure your bodily responses, heartbeat, sweating that kind of thing in order to determine whether you're lying or not because why lying mm. leads to stress. I get this person's having trouble keeping it all on the go at the same time. Seems like it. Let's have a look and see advice on what you should do here. The seven of pentacles in reverse. Well, see this as it is. It's not, it's, it's someone here. I think that you were hoping that this was going to lead to something, but in the end you have to see it as cutting your losses mm. uh, it, it feels like something you're going to have to it's going to come in quickly it's going to seem like one thing and then it's going to end quickly and you're kind of forced into this kind of learning harsh learning experience where you where you realize i, I get it's like an energy of trust you know who, who you can trust Looking over here, what this person should do, the high priestess. Well, they need to, I think, look a bit more deeply within themselves. Mm. I get them as being very superficial about the way they're handling their goals. Mm. They're not looking at deep, meaningful goals here. They're all very superficial kinds of goals. And you know, 
I'm also getting an energy around that person. If that person has to kind of keep a lot of secrets, yes, it's yeah. kind of like not revealing too much. Mm, mm. Because I think if they reveal too too much, everything falls apart for them. Yeah, something there kind of. It feels like things are like teetering there. It's like that game Jenga. Yes. Yeah. And you're pulling out the you pull out that one piece. piece. Yeah. And everything comes crashing down. Yeah. What not to do? We've got the Hermit in reverse. Well, in this case, I, I really don't think that you need to do a lot of soul searching about this. Spirit is saying, you know, don't try and don't don't. You're going to be tempted to think about well, what was this all about? What does it? What was the meaning of this? Well, your temptation is to blame yourself. Yeah, you, you'll be starting to think of well, what, what happened here. What did I do? And so you, you're going to be thinking there's going to be a lot of introspection about what happened here when really it's very surface actually it's pretty obvious what's happened here it's not too deep at all y you know you've you've it's a predator right the predator some hunter right who's come in taken what he wanted and then run off and run off it's really that simple and you know is it on you no it's on them mm -hmm. you you i i think you were pretty much innocent in this situation perhaps maybe a bit naive but yeah. they took advantage of your naivety. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands in reverse, what they shouldn't do. Well, you know, this is what I think is going to happen here. You know, if this person's going to run off, you're never going to hear from them again or see them again. There'll be no explanation. Yeah, it's like they'll cut off the contact. Yeah, and cut off the communication. Yeah, like, like there'll be lots of communication before they mm -hmm. get what they want. want. And then, but then afterwards they nothing. pull the plug and, and yeah. they, it's like they've disappeared and done a runner in the night. Yeah, and, and you know, you've obviously you could possibly blame yourself for that as well. Let's have a look and see what's hidden. Well, there's that high priestess in reverse. See, that's, that, that's what this person is being called upon to be very secretive. Mm. To not reveal what they're doing. That's right. Remember if they want to get what they what they what? what they want here and remember this isn't what's for the higher good this is what's in this person's best interest yeah. it's in this best his best interest to keep their secrets but there's a hidden agenda here mm. and that's what's hidden the, the thing is that's what's going to be revealed is this this person had some agenda all along mm, that's right knight of cups in reverse as what's hidden well this person is a promise breaker mm. right they do they don't keep their commitments yeah like they, they may come forward to you and you're going to think oh wow this is great i'm getting attention from this person who may be in a authority mm -hmm. you know this person is a king right or mm. well you're thinking of them as a king but they're really the king in the reverse but you don't know that when they're coming in they're going to appear to be the king of swords and the king of cups in the upright coming forward to you and you're thinking i can't believe my luck this is amazing meanwhile i've got someone who a piscean who's quite pure quite innocent maybe a little bit younger or quite a bit younger than this person hasn't learned hasn't been through hasn't experienced this type of thing before but this is going to be a, a like a massive wake-up call that there are people out there I uh, like this. Now the outcome here is the Four of Cups. Yeah, unfortunately I get this this person just kind of ghosting you in the end. Yeah, and then you're not uh, not accepting any offers from yeah. you or of anything. But you know, one thing I do like over here with the star in reverse as being the, as being the strength, I see that as being skepticism. Yes, yeah, so not, not believing the, the, the hype here. Yeah, not believing. Not falling into the, because this person's going to come in with that Knight of Cups in reverse there as someone who is a little bit too good to be true. Right, and you know, that, I, I got that from what Michelle was saying earlier. She said, oh, you won't be able to believe your luck, mm. right? Mm. That's star in reverse, not believing one's luck. Yeah. And I tell you what, you're right not to. If this hasn't happened yet or you're in the midst of it, if you've got your spidey senses tingling about yeah. somebody who will potentially come in or is already here, be considered this, you know, forewarned is forearmed, right? So you, you have an idea. Yeah. But the thing is, I like, I like that you don't believe your luck. Yeah. 
and you shouldn't. Yeah. Skepticism here will kind of let you view this with a, like a easy come, easy go. Right. Rather than having to do this whole deep introspection thing and say, what did I do wrong? Yeah. Right. And that's, that's what introspection is all about, you know, examining oneself and one's actions. Mm. But in this instance, it's not going to get, gain, gain anything for you. Mm. And what's more, this person won't be communicating with you. You won't be able to get any answers from them. Mm. You know, that happens a lot too, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's take a look at the outcome. On to the next. On to the next. On to the next. Who this am I going to conquer next? Mm -hmm. Who am I going to take dominion over? next it's like the it's the hunt it's the hunt right and hunter and prey what happens hunter catches prey hunter eats prey hunter goes on and catches more prey mm. hunter eats more prey yeah goodness me illumination well that's the thing you, you i don't feel that you'll fall for this kind of thing again i mean i, I Honestly, I think we all do. So don't try not to beat yourself up about this because I think as Well, I'm going to say women because generally women experience I, I get a I get a very feminine vibe yeah. on this side and a more masculine vibe on the side Yeah, I feel it's a woman I'm talking to here a water sign and I feel that the energy around this is one word. Don't don't think it's you. Don't spend a lot of time thinking about this. It is what it it is what it is. It's hunter prey. Move on to the next. And learn the learn the lesson. Remember that this is an energy. It was. It's don't hold on to anything that was never really real to begin with. That's another lesson here. And don't hold on to anything that was. It feels like. What do you do when you're trying to, to, to get hold of water? Water, that's right. You can't you can't, you can't grab water, right? Mm. There's no there's no substance to it. Yeah, there's no sub say. there's no substance to this. There's no substance to it. There's no substance to what this person is doing. There's no reasoning. There's no real reason why they chose you, other than the fact that you were available. That's right. An opportunity. It, and the fact you might have been inexperienced enough not to see them coming. Yeah. See, uh, someone who's older and has been through this experience earlier mm -hmm. in their life will see this kind of thing. That's right. And they'll recognize it for what it is. Mm. So and it's a learning experience. And the thing is, you won't, get, you won't get fooled again. Yeah. So we'll see where this goes in the extended, guys. I hope that you join us. The link is down below in the descriptions box. Please do like, share and subscribe if you're a newcomer. I'd love to have you as part of the team. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out my new channel memberships. You can get early access to the videos. Click on the join button or look in the descriptions box for more information. And uh, also, uh, if you'd like to uh, check out the Soul for Repair playlist for more readings that are done in this style, they are not sign or time dependent and you may find your story there if this one doesn't resonate. Wishing you the best with this, Pisces. We'll see you in part two. Have a happy Halloween and bye for now. Thanks, Pisces. Goodbye and good luck.